right here. Good morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. We celebrate your life that you've been called and been chosen by the Most High God in Jesus' name. Uh, this morning, we're going to begin a, a series on faith. Our subject this morning will be the measure of faith. Let me say it again. The measure of faith. Now, get ready, man. You got King James? Uh, uh, Sister Leah, one of you, man, I want you to read for me. Uh, read our foundation scriptures. Romans 12, 1 through 3, for foundation scriptures. Family online, we love you this morning. Be ready for the word. Get your notepad out. Let's go. In your Bible. Romans 12, 1 through 3, and Luke 17. Sister Lewis, I want it 1 through Um, we don't need to one through ten, but we'll, we'll get there, okay? Let's start with, with what? Romans? Romans 12, 1 uh -huh. through 3. 1 through 3. Read it aloud. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, uh -huh. holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. First thing we're looking at on the teaching of the measure of faith, God says, I want you, and in retrospect, in light of what Jesus is there, in light of his Christ, I want you to understand you, your life should be a sacrifice now. No cross, no nails, nobody crucifying you. I want you to do it by crucifying your flesh. That's your crucifixion. Somebody said, that's my crucifixion. That's my crucifixion. God said, yield to me your body. I need your body. Because my, your body is where your spirit is. The real you is on the inside of the body. So give me, God said, give me your body first. Okay? In a way that's acceptable. Right? Holy. Sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. To do something with your body. And God's not going to do nothing with your body. You have to do something with your body. Go with me also to Luke 17. Read 5 through 10. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, uh -huh. ye might say unto this sycamine tree, uh -huh. Be thou plucked up by the reed, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. Uh -huh. But which of you, having a servant ploweth, plowing or feeding cattle, will say unto him by and by, When he is come from the field, go and sit down to meet. Uh -huh. And will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself, and serve me till I have eaten and drunk, and then afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Uh -huh. Doth he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. Trow not means he thank not. Go on. So likewise ye... When ye have done all those things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Now, let me back it up. Give me the first five verses. Then. Before Jesus to increase their faith, it's a result of the first five verses. Jesus, they said that in response to the first five verses. I want you to read with me and see why they asked Jesus to increase their faith. Read the first five verses. Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible but that offenses will come, but woe unto him through whom they come. Mm -hmm. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he cast into the sea, mm -hmm. that he should offend one of these little children. Mm -hmm. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Then, notice the next thing, after Jesus does a teaching on, on forgiveness. That's when he dealt with the first five verses. And remember, this was a letter. It wasn't chapter and verse. It was, it was separated with numbers to help us, you know, to separate and remember things. But this is the whole key. First five Scriptures, he's talking about offenses will come. And he was talking about forgiveness. Somebody say forgiveness. forgiveness. He said, if your brother's humble enough to come to you, no matter how many times they may, in this case seven times, but y'all know the other scriptures, they deal with 490 in a day. Mm -hmm. So if he's willing to ask you forgiveness, right, you ought to forgive them. Guess what they say? They, they probably threw their hand up in the air. Yeah. Like they just don't care. They said, Jesus, you asking me to do that? I need you to what? Increase my faith to do that. Yeah, 
Oh, y'all come on, somebody. He's saying I need more left in the Greek. Write this down. They actually said this way. I think you're going to like this. He said, they said to him in verse 5, make our faith greater. Write it down. Make our faith greater, Jesus. We really, this forgiveness, this forgiveness piece, this joy, it's way all right here to forgive somebody just because they asked for it. Are you, or are you willing to forgive somebody for what they done simply because they asked? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. And that's all they were required to do. Not get the floor and beg, get on their knees, but simply ask you, sister, will you forgive me for what I said and done? And, and their response was said, Lord, Make my faith greater than what it is right now. Because he said it takes great faith to forgive somebody, particularly when you thought you they've been on your last nerve and you had enough of them. Now he goes a little further. He talks about, they said, make our faith greater. Now, what is the key issue here? It's not the size of the mustard seed that we're going to be looking at. But that the muscles, that the seed should be planted. That's what he was teaching his disciples. If you have a seed, it'll do you no good. It will not profit you unless you get it out of your hand, out of the seed bag, and put it in the ground. Say a seed must be planted. Now he's responding. Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be what? Say. So he said you got faith in the new birth. It's planted in your spirit. But you need to plant it. It's planted in your spirit. But you need to plant it. Now let's go. Let's, let's plant the seed. Notice what he says. Verse 6 is why we really want to really want to take off from And the Lord said, What? Verse 6. Read. If you had what? Faith. Go on. As a grain of mustard, ye might say. Faith. Go on. As a grain of mustard, ye might say. And Stop. Underline the word say. In your Bible. I'm going to talk about three things today. I hope you brought your shopping clothes on. Here, here we go. You ready for this? I ask you, are you ready for this? Amen. Get this revelation. He said, if you had the seed, don't get caught with being a mustard seed, peach seed, apple seed. It's not, the type of seed is not the difference. Here. He said, you would say, I'm allowed the word say. You would say, be that plucked up. I'm allowed the word pluck. Pluck. I know what the word pussy, word pluck, I don't like the word pluck. Be thou plucked up by the root, I don't like the word root. And be thou planted, I don't like the word, like word pro planted. And you see, it should obey you. I'm concentrating on, we're concentrating on pluck, plant, and say. If I could give you a semi topic for this message, it would be pluck, plant, and say, oh, y'all, that's going to be a good one. What's he saying here? Listen. A seed must be planted. And it's planted in this case, Jesus said, that sick of mind seed would obey you if you would say some things. I want to talk to you about what's coming out your mouth. He said, if you don't like it, pluck it up. Oh, I got the definition. Don't play with me. I got the definition. Don't you think I didn't study the show myself, bro? I'm not fooling around. Look, let me show you what he said. The word, the word pluck. What does it mean to pluck? The pluck, right now. Pluck means a boldness of determination. <coughs> why, you, why, you, why we get you to write stuff? Because you write it down or put it on your phone, you'll never forget. Say it with boldness of determination. determination. You got that? Now watch out. It doesn't stop there. It says to pull out. Say it with me. Pull to pull out. To remove briskly. I'm going to spell it for you. I know you, Sister Keith, you asked me to spell that word. I had to spell it myself. To remove briskly. Now listen. Peyton, what's Peyton? Uh -uh, come up here. I need you. I need you. Stand right there. I'm going to show you what happened. Briskly. Now, let me spell the word briskly. Let me tell you what the word briskly means. To remove briskly. How do I do remove something briskly? Briskly is spelled B R U E 
B R U E E S. No, no. B R U E Q U E L Y. B R U E Q U E L Y. Briskly. Briskly means in an abrupt manner. What? Can you spell it again? <laughs> in a, the word briskly, to remove briskly, I'm telling you what briskly means. To remove in an abrupt manner. You'll get to know later. Okay? It, it means. Spell it again. The word briskly. Spell it for me. B R I S K L Y. No, I didn't say it okay. B R U E Q. B R U S Q U E. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're going to look it up, aren't you? Briskly. It means to remove. The word briskly means to remove in a abrupt manner. To remove in an abrupt manner, it means to be discouraged, discourteous. Discourteous. How many of us went out into the field or in the garden and did something with weeds? I used to go in my grandfather's garden. You want to get this? I used to go in my grandfather's garden. I didn't want to go. I was mad because there was weeds between the corn and the carrots. And he said, move the weeds. And I had to bend over and snatch them up. I didn't like the weeds. My green beans should be green and beautiful. But if I left the weeds in the garden, they would have become dry and brown because the nourishment would have been stolen by the weeds. He said, my grandfather said, go pluck up the weeds. What is he saying to pluck up something? He's saying, words will pluck up stuff that you don't like in your life. You should take the seed of words and begin plucking stuff out of your life in a, with an attitude. And my granddaughter says something like this. Come here, baby. She tells me when I do something to her she don't like, what's your favorite saying? No, that ain't the one I told them. The one you said when you was a kid. Say it out loud. That's what she said. Don't say that. She said, not nice, Papa. What's in your life that's not nice? Oh, you get getting it. What's in your life that you've been putting up with that you shouldn't be putting up with that's not lining up with the work? It's, you're not being led of the Spirit to do it. Something that you're involved with, something that you're tolerating in your life. God says, when you deal with it, pluck Pow! Pluck it up and be discouraged. Get an attitude about stuff in your life that shouldn't be. Get militant in your mindset. Pluck it up. Somebody say, pluck it up. Snatch that thing up with words. Stop saying, oh, I got, okay, here's what we got to do. Thank you, Lord. So instead of putting up with arthritis, pluck it up. Arthritis are behind you in the name of three. Sugar diabetes, poverty, fear, sickness, disease, lack. Inferiority of mind. Mm -hmm. Anything that's negative, anything that can't shouldn't be condoned with the word, you want to be say what? Say it to me. Pluck it up. Pluck it up. You pluck it up with words. You should plant the seed of faith and pluck up those things in your life that you sh that you shouldn't be tolerating. Somebody say pluck it up. Pluck it up. God said you have the authority. And the ability to do something about your own life and regulate your life with words of faith. Pluck it up. If you're sick, it ain't God's fault. He said, bind it. If it's not, if it's not legal in heaven, he said, in the earth, bind and take control of it. Dominate sickness and disease. Dominate poverty and lack. Dominate that devil and the demons. Dominate fear and anxiety. With words. Say pluck it up. Stop tolerating stuff, but take words like the, like, like the seed that should be planted. In this case, we talk about pluck it up. But let's talk about the word plant. The word plant means to sow seeds. To sow seeds. To set firmly in place. To sow seeds. To set Firmly in place. Now, the flip side of plucking is the word plant. God is saying, I want you to plant some things. What? Now, I like this about Jesus. 
Are you really listening with your inner ear, your, your spirit ear? Jesus did not talk with words that people couldn't understand and comprehend. He made this common denominator. He made things very simple and plain. And you and I have to do that. Can't afford to talk over people, teach over people, preach over people, and they walk away confused. Mm -hmm. yep. Talk about seed. Mm -hmm. Goat. Sheep. Stay with me. He said, if you don't like it, what? Like it Say pluck it up. Are y'all here? And if you want it, plant it. <laughs> Somebody say plant it. Plant it, plant it. Sow seeds to sit firmly in place. So begin taking words. A seed must be planted. Say a seed must be planted. Seed seed must be planted. planted. You must plant seeds for your health. You must plant seeds for your wealth. Jesus said, you should say to the sycamine tree, to do something and it shall obey you. Well, if you're plucking up something that's adversarial to you, if you're plucking up something and separating yourself from something, it could be a thing, it could be a person, it could be a habit, it could be a fear, it could be an addiction, it could be whatever negative thing. He said, you pluck it up. Otherwise, cocaine, I speak to you in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be dominated by you or alcohol or opioids. I, I bind and take authority. I talk to that opioid in Jesus' name. I pluck it up by speaking words of faith. Yeah. I got to talk to the opioid. He said, talk to the sick of mine. You want to be talking to the opioid. Talk to the cancer. Talk to arthritis. Talk to sugar diabetes. Regulate them things. You're going to have to do something. You're going to have to pluck up something in your own life. Yeah. Now, if you're not plucking up, you're tolerating. Mm -hmm. You're just not speaking to your body. You're not speaking to your wallet. You're not talking to your, your bank account. You're allowing poverty to what? Just dominate you by not telling poverty, I bind you and I cast you away from me and my family in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, you got to pluck. You got to pluck some things. Then you got to plant. You need to plant words into your body. Words fail. You need to tell your body. Body, you were healed. I just want to remind you. You were healed 2,000 years ago. You're not trying to get healed. You were healed by his stripes. You were healed 2,000 years ago. Isaiah 53, 1 Peter 2, 24, Matthew 8, 17. They all say that himself took your infirmities, bear your sicknesses. So you look by your talking to you. Listen to me, body. You need to talk to your own body. Now, by that command, the blood pressure to what? Regulate it as order regulate. I command every cell, joint, bone, marrow, nerve, and every organ of my body to function in great, marvelous perfection and excellence in Jesus' name. I bind, I'm plucking up now, I bind all sickness and disease and weakness from you. No evil shall befall my body. Neither shall any plague, no cancer, no tumor shall befall my body. Nothing like that. Then I begin to plague. Body, you know. You're so beautiful. <laughs> I got Bible to say you're wonderfully and you've been fearfully made. Yep. So I tell my body. My body hears those words that I'm planting. I'm sowing seeds with my mouth. I'm saying some things. I'm saying words. My body hears these words and it responds. You got any experience with that pastor? Certainly no. The doctors would have been then went to another field waiting for me to give them money. <laughs> they would have went to become dentistry. They would have turned down their certificates and went to be an RN. They would have done something other than treat anything for me because they would have been out of money. Because I talked to my own body. Mm -hmm. I got a doctor. His name is he Jehovah Rapha. Yeah. And he teaches me the power of words. Death and life yep. 
Yeah. He tells me there's never like what you say. Yes. Some things need to be pulled up at the root. Yes. See the root of the he said the root, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He said that thing the root would be affected. The, look, 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 look. Verse 6, and the Lord said, if you have faith, there's a grain of mustard seed, root of the tree. And the next day they came out, and the tree had what? Women and die. Yeah. Your words are life. Or they're death. Your words contain strength and power. Your words bring forth the creative ability of God on the scene. Your words change things. Your words will change your world. You got to be mindful and be careful. The word careful means discipline with what comes out of your mouth. You need to plant some things. You need to plant cup words. You need to plant financial words. You need to begin speaking. Money comes to me. I dare you open your mouth and say it. Money comes to me. You need to be saying that you 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 have God's favor. And the blessing is on you no matter where you go. Bless going out. Bless coming in. Somebody say, God favors me. God favors me. That's what ought to be coming out your mouth instead of stuff like, you never know what God will do. His ways pass by and out. How you doing? Now I'm just trying to hold on to the skin of my teeth. I'm going to get home. I'm going to the rough side of the mountain. <laughs> Can't find scripture for you walk the door side. He said, speak me. I said, go ahead, go up. <laughs> yeah, there's some things in your life that need to be plucked up. In the case, said, be that removed. You need to remove things with the word of faith. Somebody say, your faith. Your faith need to be put to work. At the last verse that you read, that yeah, Sister Lynn, this is Wing. Verse 10. So likewise, ye, when you have done all the things which are commanded, you. Remember, he talked about forgiveness. He talked about planning. He talked about plucking. He talked about saying. He said, which I commanded you, say, our unprofitable servant, we have done that which was our duty to do. Underline the word duty. You got a duty to do something with, with your faith. You got a faith duty. That word duty. You have been given and commissioned responsibility from Jesus to speak words of life. Your duty. Look at your neighbor and say, you got a duty. You got a duty. If you sick, you ain't doing your duty. Mm -hmm. If you are broke or disgusted or frustrated, you ain't doing your duty. Mm -hmm. Frustrated. Fret not. Thyself. Well, he's giving me a hard time. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. That's what the word said. The word said. Revenge is of the Lord. God will take care of your enemy. Yes. Be still and know that our God is what the scripture says. Yep. Be anxious for nothing, but with prayer and with, with supplication, make your request known unto God. Yeah. And after you request it from God, go somewhere and sit down. Stop walking the floor. Yes. Pulling your hair out. Can you eat? Stomach upset. A nervous wreck. Plant the seed. Mm, Jesus. Y'all, y'all, come on. Oh, I get the first, when I heard this, I heard, oh, man, I'm up 2, 3 o'clock. I'm hearing no harvest because the seed ain't been planted. Mm. Some of us are limited speaking words of faith. Come on. We women, this kind of atmosphere is wonderful to say some things. Oh, everybody's in agreement. Mm -hmm. Oh, corporate faith. Oh, man, we under the influence of faith because everybody's faith bouncing from faith to faith. Uh, uh, it's marvelous. But on Monday morning when you go down 66, uh -huh. when you've been down 95, the traffic's backed up. Oh, no, boss, look at you, cock mm -hmm. <laughs> The boss asks you to do something that's unreasonable. Come on, Holy Ghost. You better know what the buck up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to know what the plant did. Yeah. Sweet words of faith over my boss, just family. Mm -hmm. Somebody's getting healed. Mm -hmm. I'm planting words of faith over my community mm -hmm. and over my nation. Mm -hmm. You see the killings? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, spirit of death, mm -hmm. 
and destruction. I bind you and I pluck you up. Yeah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You've got a duty to use what's been measured to you. Mm -hmm. And if you don't use Romans 12 and 3, under every man, God has given him a measure of faith. If you don't what, if you don't be get use what's been measured to you, I got great news for you. I'll give you the bad news first and the good news second. The bad news that faith either faith is either backing up or going forward. Mm -hmm. Your faith is advancing or regressing. Your faith is taking the land or running away from it. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget this as long as I live. I was minding my business. I think I went by Lyndon's house. <laughs> Lyndon was cleaning up something. Baby. She was busy. My granddaughter had a bag of candy. Oh my God. Y'all have to be there to see this. Get this in your spirit. Think about this. My granddaughter about this talk. Cute little thing. And her mama threw a bag of candy in my <sighs> Oh my gosh. Hey, you remember that? You're a star, baby. Let me tell you what happened. She asked her mom, <laughs> where's the candy at? And for some odd reason, I wouldn't recommend anybody to do what she did. She said, I threw it away. Peyton looked at it like that. She started breathing hard. She sort of fell and she got red as a beat. She looked at her mama. I looked at her. She looked at her mama. She went, ah! She run. My mama said, ah! Oh, it's God and the angels of God are my witness. I was sitting there running, get to run myself. Her mama took off. She said, ah! She changed. <laughs> she got separated from something she was, was dear to her. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to talk about no forgiveness. She wanted no piece of mama. She didn't care about mama's weight, her size. She didn't care about mama beat her in the past. Right now, mama had to pay. <laughs> It was on and popping right then. At that moment, that daughter, granddaughter, didn't kill about no mama size. <laughs> Could have been even no how to feel. It wouldn't have made no giving. She said, Rah! She Rah! <laughs> My daughter went, oh. <laughs> so she calmed down. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? She wasn't tolerating, no. She wasn't tolerating. No, maybe I'll forgive you. That wasn't the question. She was dealing with her Goliath in that moment. <laughs> she was dating him. She's going back to the Old Testament. She was waiting up. Her, she was getting ready to slay a stone. <coughs> she was about to do something. Everything in the natural. Wouldn't recommend it, her to do anything with Mama threw anything away. But she said at that very moment, she had to fix, somebody said plan it. Right. She had a fixed purpose in her mind. You threw it away, you're gonna pay. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna bust you up. I'm gonna <laughs> we're gonna talk about it later. You're gonna beat me till next year. But right now, you threw my kid away, you must pay. <laughs> Here's the problem with Christians, and we're Christians. Sometimes we don't respond that way. We don't respond that way and get angry with sickness and disease mm -hmm. and pain and poverty. Mm -hmm. We just, oh, really? Exactly. You did? Oh, we so cordial. We, mock, we got our manners when it comes to the devil, what he tried to do. <laughs> God says, get like Peyton. <laughs> That's what you're going to do when the devil trying to put pain on you. Guess what the devil, that's what you're going to do to the devil when he tries to tell you can't pay your bills. Yeah. You need to get nasty. That's right. You need to break crazy. Mm. Yeah. 
with a K. You need to go cray cray. <laughs> so it's sitting around. Mm -hmm. Whoa, unto me. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know my yeah. All the different. But you need to get this. What my granddaughter showed me that time, I can preach it anywhere I go. When the devil tried to put something on me, I can't find it in the Bible. I begin to aggressively, I go, what? Pluck it up! Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not taking shit out. I'm not taking out Christ. I'm not taking dimension. I'm not taking the devil. Yeah. yeah. Jesus said, Shut up, devil. Get out there. Hallelujah. Shut up mm -hmm. and get out. Yeah. Pack your nasty breeches. Mm -hmm. Holes in your socks. Get out! You filthy dog. Mm -hmm. Get up. Not putting up with this. I'm plucking you up and your operation. Mm -hmm. And command you to go for me in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Yes. Don't be cordial as a Christian. Yes, God. Mm. Woo. Don't be indifferent. Mm -hmm. Don't be lax. It's Jesus. Don't be smooth. Don't be a sucker. Mm -hmm. That's 40. James Bond, different. Stop being so easy. Mm -hmm. Get your pay pay on. When the devil comes to you with symptoms of lack, fear, failure, suicide, mm -hmm. he come across that way, blow up on him. Somebody up in my office say, I'm going to blow up on you, devil. Oh, oh, God, I'm blowing. I'm going to blow up in your face mm -hmm. <laughs> and tell you every symptom of poverty and fear and disease. Yes, Jesus. And a mindset that doesn't honor God. Because yes, I have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't find sickness as my inheritance. Mm -hmm. I can't find weakness as my inheritance here. Hallelujah. I see the strength of God as my inheritance. I'm seeing that I'm more than a conqueror. Yeah. Through him that loved me and gave himself. I see that greater is he yeah. than the than the heathens in the world. I see God said I'll support you. Whatever you're buying on earth, it's better. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you allow loose on earth, it's allowed in heaven. Come on. No more poverty. Say it with me, no more poverty. No more no poverty. poverty. Say no more sickness. No, no more sickness. sickness. No lack. No, no lack. lack. No fear. No, no fear. fear. No, de no depression. No, no depression. depression. No anxiety. No anxiety. No torment. No torment. Mm, thank you, yeah, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> you got to know what belongs to you. If it ain't lining up with the book Jesus. of life, glory. Jesus, said my word. Yes. John 6, 6, 6, and 63, and I'm closing. Mm. My word. Yes, God. A spirit and Life. Yes, Jesus. <laughs> so when you speak the word, yes. the devil, the disease, the yes. poverty, Woo. fear, torment, failure, manliness, holy, will be cast yes, God. into the sea. Yes, Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lord. Tell somebody you ought to get yes. you, you need to stop plucking. Woo. You need to start 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 plucking. Start plucking. Yes. That's right. Somebody get a plucking up ministry. Get your ministry of plucking up in your house. Yeah. Start yeah. at your house. Yeah. Woo. I Jesus. Start as the size and kingdom of authority in your own over your body. Yes, yes. Rebuke sickness and disease. Yes. Refuse to allow it in your body. Yes, Jesus. Oh, God. I'm stopping with this. Jesus. Well, you know, you got to die from something. Somebody told me one time. <laughs> Ooh, God. <laughs> no, long life. Now I'm, not, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm long not life. I don't care about. Yeah. I'm not trying. I'm not up here. I got this anointing on me to preach the word and truth. And what I'm saying, if I say it to you, it's not because I'm saying. See if it's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Not only Psalm 91, he said, "With long life, will I what satisfy me?" Mm -hmm. But Abraham died of what? Foolish. Yeah. Yeah. He got it every moment, every hour, every day he should have got. Mm -hmm. You check your Bible. Mm -hmm. You find that he lived to be 175. Yeah. Now we try to get a good health care plan and long term care at 60, 65. Mm -hmm. You ain't even began to live. Mm -hmm. 60. Retarded. 
going to hush your mouth. You'll be looking at the honey to change. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it because those of you who receive what I'm saying, you'll get a hundred and change. I said you want to see a hundred and change. Yeah. And before you leave, you will know it because the Lord will tell you and you will just stop. The Bible called to give up the ghost. Yes. Did you hear what I just said, did? Yeah. Here. That's what? It was no cancer. Ooh. It was no oh. pain. Tumor. Yeah. It was. Woo. After you pray over the ah. children. After you bless your children. Children's children. Did you give up the ghost? Yes. Woo! Jesus. Oh. You just stop breathing. That'll do it, won't it, nephew? Yes. That's why. Thank you, Lord. Mm. I said that's Bible. That's Bible. They just prayed on the people. Remember Joseph? Lay hands on their sons and daughters. Spoke prophetically. Roll their legs up in the bed. With their JJ and PJs on. And just. That's all they get. That's Jesus. When you go, you better go and stop, Joseph. I said, when you go, go right. Yes, Jesus. Go in class. Go in line. Go with a life that lines up with the Bible. Even when you surrender up the ghost and give up the ghost, go and give God the glory. Give, leave us a good testimony. Mm -hmm. Not that he's all oh, they gave him morphine. He struggled all night before he passed. We don't want to hear nothing like that from him. No. Oh. No. In Jesus' name. We're going to hear that when you left here. You had angels holding your hand, celebrating the life well spent, yeah. saying God. And when you heard the word, of, the word, of, remember the word of the Lord. He said, He said, what did He say about those who were His faithful servants? He said, Come in into my rest. Yeah. When your work is done, if your work isn't done. Don't you dare leave out yeah. before your time. Amen. I'm talking to you online. Don't you dare leave out of here before your time and don't let the devil kick you out of your body in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Do you receive that? Amen. Say, I'm playing. I'm playing. And I'm plugging. And I'm plugging. And, 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 and I'm doing it. And I'm doing it with what I say. With what, what I say. say. You receive it? Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.